Today we're going to take a look at the Maxpedition Flieger Duffel. This is also called the Adventure Bag, and there are a lot of good reasons. This thing is so versatile, and there are so many ways to carry this bag, it's just unbelievable. I've been traveling a lot the past month, and I got this in just for that travel, and it has really proven itself to be an exceptional bag. A great bag. It also meets the FAA carry-on standards. So you can carry this right on the plane, get off, and go right to your destination. It's just a great, versatile bag. Now, of course, I'm going to show you a lot of the specs, but you can go to maxpedition.com to check out all the details. But this bag is so uh, versatile, and there are so many different ways to carry it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with the interior. Uh, it does have these compression straps that lock it down. And uh, you do have a spot here on these YKK zippers to put a small lock. So you can keep this secure. Of course, um, the zippers are excellent. As you see, it has a huge amount of room. It has 2,380 cubic inches here in this compartment. And very similar to most of your uh, luggage bags, it does have a, cons a, a compression strap here as well. All the clips and the uh, Fastex buckles are Duraflex, so they're the highest of quality, fully adjusted. And uh, of course, you've got these great tie downs. Uh, of course, in the top here, you have a place, uh, two small mesh pockets. And uh, you know you can use it for your toiletries or your socks, whatever you want to use up here. And this is, I'm going to talk about it as a luggage bag, but you can of course do this a lot of different ways and put different things in here. And you're going to see why in a minute. But of course it's just roomy, and of course these are the only two compartments inside the interior. Now one of the things about Maxpedition is that you can get a lot of gear or a lot of whatever you're putting in here and really compress it down and still get these zippers to close. It's amazing how much pressure you can put on the bag and then begin to close these. And, and that's the way it is with all of their bags. Now, I'm gonna show you a few more of the outside pockets. It has this one right up top. You can put something you need to get to. There are also pockets right up front, very roomy. And this also has a couple of mesh compartments inside. So you can organize your gear however you want to. Thing on the other side, we have these Duraflex buckles that are compression buckles with nice webbing, solid webbing. And again, you have two mesh compartments and then it's open. Of course, this has this interior, which is a, a very water resistant material on the inside, but the outside has been treated with a DuPont uh, triple coat polyurethane. So this is very water resistant and abrasion resistant. In fact, uh, if you get it stained or anything, you just take a wet cloth and you just wipe it down. You don't ever throw this in the wash. Now this does have a, a polyurethane coating. It's a Teflon finish, DuPont, and as you can see, it just rides right off. It's one of my favorite features of the Maxpedition. It does have a great grab handle right on top. It has some a neoprene handle. It gives it a lot of comfort. It's padded as well. This upper strap has box stitching to really hold this secure. And then it's stitched down again with these, these locking um, compression straps. So the webbing, the stitching, this just holds up well. You're going to be able to find a bag that's less expensive, but you're not going to find a bag of this quality with this kind of stitching and this kind of security especially if you're on a trip out of state or somewhere where you really depend on your bag. There's also closed foam padding in all the areas on the interior of the bag to really protect it from damage. You have grab handles on both sides here and here. So it's very versatile. No matter where you're coming from, you've got a place to grab hold. As you can see, there's Molly or Pals webbing all along the bag itself. And you can attach different items uh, especially in a different mode. Now this is the, the first mode is just being able to carry it with these grab handles. And of course these are reinforced stitching uh, just like Maxpedition always does. They're always top of the line. And you can see they have the, uh, the O-rings here, the D-rings. Now one of the good features about this bag, and this is the way I was carrying it a lot this past weekend, is you have this strap. And this shoulder strap just hooks into these D-rings here you see that it has a metal insert here, but these Duraflex D-rings or, or hooks are really strong. And of course, as you can see, the webbing is double stitched. So it really makes a nice fit and you don't have to worry about this thing coming loose. Of course, you can see here that it has this open webbing that is padded and this is great to keep the uh, perspiration down when you're carrying it on your shoulder. It is fully adjustable and of course this strap is. This turns 
So if you get the strap turned around, you can always just pull it around to fit your knee. There are D-rings on the end, so you can put your shoulder strap into this one way, or you can carry it the other way. So you can carry it from any angle that, that's on, that has the bag. So any way that you want to carry it, you have your grab handle here as well to be able to, to make it stable. Now what you can do with this strap is you can stow this thing away. And I'm going to show you that because there's another thing that we're going to pull out, another option. In the back here, we have a compartment, and it is enclosed. In here, we pull out shoulder straps, just like a backpack. You can also put a 100-ounce bladder in here if you need to, to be able to use this as a backpack. Of course, we have the D-rings here. These lock into place. You can stow away your shoulder strap in here if you want or in one of the other pockets. Everything is tight and it just makes this great for adventure. There's also a sternum strap here as well to be able to give you a lock. Duraflex buckles again. Everything's either box stitched or it's double stitched in every place. And here you get a little bit of a closer look at some of the double stitched. There are adjustments all over this thing and on the, the straps themselves there is uh, places to cinch up. These are elastic so you can fit things in here. This also has a zipper that once you close this up, you can zip it up and keep this secured. The bag fits very nicely on your back. I'm going to give you a couple of views of it. Of course, everything you can pull, you can cinch up however you need to, and then it fits very well. Very comfortably, it rides comfortably on your back. Of course, the straps fit very nicely down in. You can see the zipper. And then here we have a little loop to be able to run your uh, tube for your bladder to come right up and then you can actually ride it right over the strap. There's also a grommet down here at the bottom in case there's any, uh, you get any water in your bag. The bag is 22 inches in length, it's 14 inches wide and it's 9 inches in, deep, in depth. So that kind of gives you an idea of the size. There is a larger bag of this same styling that you can check out obviously on Maxpedition. This is the khaki color. It does come in black, it comes in an OD green, it comes in a foliage green, and then it also comes in an ACU. So you have a lot of different color options. Me personally, I just love this khaki color. The Flagger Duffel by Maxpedition, or also the Adventure Bag. Check out maxpedition.com. If you mention Such00 in the coupon code, you can get an additional 10% off of your purchase on any of the items from Maxpedition. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now, a little word to the wise. Unless you enjoy uh, body cavity searches, I would not recommend that you use one of these uh, muzzle of a 1911 on the front of your shirt when you're flying.